Let's begin. Study Guide 3. Community Policing in California. Community policing is probably the easiest and most common sense course you may be tested on during the police academy. There is no easy way to teach this material except to say, you will know it when you see it. The answers will just pop out at you. You will see common sense terms over and over, particularly police and the community. Hint. Welcome to our study guide course, Community Policing in California. During this course, I will explain what will be covered and how it will be covered. After review and study of this study guide, you will be able to define throughout this course the following. A problem-solving strategy, communication, community mobilization, community partnerships, community policing, crime prevention, crime prevention through environmental design, CPTED, facilitation, homeland security, problem solving, the term problem. You will be able to identify the following. Benefits of integrating community mobilization and homeland security, community policing goals, components that comprise communities, crime prevention strategies, elements of area beat knowledge, elements of the crime triangle, essential components of community policing, essential partnering skills, methods for recognizing crime problems, peace officer responsibilities in the community, principles of crime prevention through environmental design, resources which provide opportunities to educate and learn from the community. You will also be able to differentiate between proactive and reactive policing. You will be able to recognize the following. Components of a message in communications with others. Peace officers' role in influencing community attitudes. Peace officers' responsibilities to enforce the law. Potential effects of negative nonverbal signals. You will also be able to distinguish between problem-oriented policing, POP, and community policing, or CP. This is more than likely all you'll be tested on during this specific examination. So the following is just information which might be discussed in class and not likely to be testable. You will be able to discuss benefits of maintaining a positive relationship with the news media, the broken windows theory, communication techniques that can be used for obtaining voluntary compliance, community expectations of peace officers, community mobilization methods, community policing philosophy, components of a community inventory, components of the facilitation process, crime prevention programs within the community, current and emerging issues that can impact the delivery of services by peace officers, elements of the community mobilization process, government expectations of law enforcement and peace officers, history of policing models, key elements for developing trust between community partners, leadership skills in community policing, opportunities where peace officers educate and learn from community members, relationships of ethics to the badge of office. You will be able to apply facilitation techniques reflecting professional behavior and apply a problem-solving strategy. You will be able to give examples of the following. Crime risk factors, effective communication techniques, obstacles that officers may encounter when developing community partnerships. Selected information from the study guide will also appear on your mid-course and end-of-course proficiency written tests.